welcome to this parent video. You will need sound on for this presentation. On each slide of the PowerPoint, you will find a speaker icon to explain each part. My name is Miss Hornby and I oversee Read Write Inc. here at St John Vianney. I am also the hub lead for our English hub. Mrs Dickinson is the Read Write Inc. phonics lead for Foundation Stage and Mrs Rooney is the phonics lead for Key Stage 1. St John Vianney is a Read Write Inc. model school. We use this programme to teach your child individual letter sounds, to be able to segment and blend and then read words. Good morning and welcome to this information PowerPoint. An introduction to the Read Write Inc. sound cards. What Read Write Inc. does is simple. We teach sounds. Children practice reading and spelling words containing these sounds. Then we give children decodable books containing sounds and words they can read. Alongside this, we read stories to children, stories they cannot yet read for themselves. Our aim is for children to finish the Read Write Inc. phonics programme quickly so they can start reading these books independently. All words are made up of individual sounds. These sounds are merged together to form words, e.g. in mat we have the sounds m, a, t. In the word ship we have the sounds sh, i, p. A grapheme is another name for the letters we use to write the sound, the spelling of that sound on the page. Phonics is the method of teaching reading through the identification of sounds and graphemes. The national curriculum ensures that all children are taught phonics systematically. This gives your children the tools to read any word. Using Read Write Inc, we make learning to read easy for children because we start by teaching them just one way of reading and writing every sound. Here they are on the simple speed sound chart we use in class. We teach the set one sounds first. On the chart you can see these are the first two grey shaded lines. Children need to know sounds, not letter names, to read words. We teach using pure sounds. We pronounce the sounds clearly using pure sounds. M, not m, s, not s. So that your child will be able to blend the sounds together to make the words more easily. You can watch this film of Sylvie on the Ruth Miskin website to practice using pure sounds. You can watch this film on the Ruth Miskin website to practice reading the stretchy sounds with your child. For example, mmm. You can watch this film on the Ruth Miskin website to practice reading the bouncy sounds with your child. For example, b, 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 b. You are able to watch video tutorials on the Ruth Miskin website to help you understand more about phonics and Read Write Inc. and how to practice reading and writing with your child at home. So what can you do at home? Number one, use pure sounds, not letter names. Number two, use Fred Talk to read and spell words. Number three, use the sound cards to help your child to learn new sounds. Number four, use these cards to segment and blend new words. Number five, read stories to your child every day. 
Please use Tapestry to ask your class teacher any questions you may have about read writing. We are all here and happy to help in any way we can.